So let's get talking now uh, with our guest, Mr. Olusheson Okwande. He is chairman in Kedja District Society of Icon. He joins us via the, uh, the Zoom call now. Thank you for your time. We appreciate you for being with us. Good morning, Frank, and good morning to our viewers. My pleasure to be here this morning. Yeah. Now, le let me have your take um, before we get into clarifying what this bill uh, entails and what it's supposed to achieve. Um, let's get your take on this as well. One COBO per second, that's the new tax law or policy, uh, which has just been signed into uh, by President Muhammadu Buhari last week. What's your take on this development? Yes, the association subscribe, um, telecommunication subscribers have kicked against it as well. Yeah, uh, I expect uh, the association to kick against that uh, because when I heard about the news of uh, the signing into law, it caught me at base because you want to ask yourself the question, what is government contributing to the uh, business growth of the telecom sector? Uh, in our last discussion that we had on this topic, we were able to you know, bring to bear what these telecoms are actually facing uh, at the point when they were agitating of increasing the cost of tariff by 40%. Uh, we, made, we, we brought to bear that basically most of the equipment that they make use of are foreign dominated. None is being produced locally. And the cost of foreign exchange, knowing fully well that they are not having full access to the CBN rates. Uh, they do most of their buying through the, uh, uh, the secondary market as, as it's into their operational cost. And on the other side, the power sector. Uh, we know you and I understand that the cost of power before now was minimal because the cost of alternative power supply to the national grid was uh, very, very low. Whilst we speak, it has gone as high as uh, 700 per litre, 600, 700 per litre. And you ask yourself the question, the same sector you are now proposing or you are effecting the payment of tax of uh, one cover per second. And if you put that calculation to place, uh, you know it's not something that is going to come very easy. But you ask yourself the question that anybody you place on any organization, who bear the bronze is the masses. If mm. the federal government is saying that the essence of them charging that is to provide health care, who are you to pay the health care for when an average person cannot even afford to make calls or use data that will support the businesses? I think uh, to my, on my own personal view, uh, it's not something that is encouraging in the sense that we are killing a sector in, uh, in the thoughts that we want to revive another sector. There are other areas that we have challenged the government to do. Cost of governance is on the high side. Can we work on that to have enough savings to take care of the health uh, structure rather than putting burden on the organizations that are trying to employ people? I know of a person uh, of, of an organization that uh, retrench a lot of his staffs in the telco because they can't cope with the cost of things and they are trying to automate their process, even to you know, have a minimal human interface in their process. So government should sit back that some of this policy eat back on the common people rather than what they think will be a gain to them. Mm. If by calculation, um, 60 uh minute or 60 seconds uh billion will, will amount to around 60 cobo that is over every one minute call you make it you'll be charged 60 cobo and over every one hour if you, you calculate that or multiply that that's about six naira uh over every one hour you you make as well um, we, we get back to the implication or, or some of the things we're supposed to look at as well. But, but, but let's look a bit. And what, it, it's, what is ideal here, uh, 60 
or six naira, all right, on a one hour cobalt. Yeah, we'll talk about a 40% uh, increase in the GSM calls. I mean, how do we how do we address this high rate to ensure that yes, of course, the the government may have a genuine intention to fund uh, you know uh, free healthcare, but some again they are looking at the amount involved here first. Let's get started from there, or let's start addressing it from there. Uh, okay, well, I missed you in between the uh, the discussion, and uh, but if I may get you right, we are looking at uh, the cost per every minute. Uh, if you are putting uh, one cobble by every second, so you are talking of uh, 3,600 uh, seconds, and if you multiply that by one cobble, that's uh, about 36 naira for every uh, 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 minutes, you know, it's per second, 60 seconds make one minute. Okay. So, and uh, 60 minutes uh, uh, make one hour. So, mm. if you put that to be a, that is 60 by 60, uh, which is about 3,600, you divide it by 100, which makes a cobalt, is about 36 naira. And the question is, this will definitely be transferred to the common man, uh, because this is inevitable, the subscriber will go ahead to look for a way to increase even the cost of tariffs, which will be harmful, even to the common man that you are trying to uh, uh, provide the health scheme uh, for. So I think we just need to think deep of certain policies that will bring to bear each time we are formulating that. We will tend to see uh, how to collect from one end, and we are killing the masses on the other aspect. Because if the company uh, are not growing, all they do is to, you know, send people back into the right. unemployment table that we have seen that have grown okay. over the uh, years. Mm. So, so you are saying that um, because I was thinking perhaps it's supposed to be six naira, but you are saying thirty-six naira on a one-hour call, right? Yeah. Mm. Well, it's, uh, it's sixty by it's sixty seconds make a minute. Right. So for every minute, you are talking of uh, you say it's, it's one couple per, uh, per second. Uh, a second. So that means for every minute is six couple. Okay, six couple. So that will be sixty. Yeah. So you now multiply it again by sixty mm. because that makes a minute. So that would be about 36 naira. Okay. Uh, interesting, interesting there. Well, let, let's look at uh, what the government is intent to achieve, uh, so to say. Some would say, would disagree with that and say, look, the uh, primary assignment of the government is to provide basic amenities such as uh, health care uh, as well. But how, 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 um, how important is what the government is trying to do now? Yes, even though, of course, it's going to cost us, but how important is, is, is this? And this way, the method the government has chosen, how appropriate is that method? Yeah, uh, it's important. If you look at Section 14, Subsection 2 of our Constitution as amended, 1999 Constitution as amended, mm. the primary responsibility of the government is to provide uh, security and uh, social well-being of every citizen. And entrenched in this well-being is the provision of uh, health care to uh, everyone. Uh, it is important because health is wealth, but we have seen that the mode of uh, uh, getting this thing, even though we know that collection of taxes is the only legal means of raising revenue from the masses, but not at this point in time, uh, when there are other areas that we can concentrate on. One of them is cost of governance. The humongous salaries some of these are leaders are engaged in, in collecting. Some can be saved in making certain provision to the masses. Uh, the trips that we are being embarked on are other area of cost savings. Rather than we uh, inflicting uh, so much on the part of the business owners, and like I will always emphasize, once you get at the business owner, they get back at the citizen. When they cannot cope with the operation cost, 
The first area where they go is to retrench because you cannot control your 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 uh, raw materials. You need that as a major input. But the only area that they go in all the factor of production is the personnel. So they tend to reduce the staff strength mm -hmm. and overburden the number of people that are in existence in that organization. So I feel that in is what everybody is using now. So okay. they can okay. raise more revenue mm -hmm. even right. from the telcos. But the long run is they get back to the citizen mm -hmm. that you are trying to provide the health scheme for. Just a quick one, if you can do this in 30 seconds, that will be fine. And what is the implication of these on the masses, of course, especially Nigerians on the street? We've seen that um, the association um, telecommunic of telecommunication subscribers are the already The implication on the masses is simple. The organization will definitely transfer some of these costs to them. So we should await the increase in the cost of doing some of these things because the organization alone will not be able to bear it. So if there is going to be increase in tax, then they will look for way one way or the other. Or otherwise, we expect low quality uh, service delivery from those people it's if right. they cannot cope with either of the two. Yes, all right. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Olusha Sonokwande, is chairman. Uh, Ikeja District Society of ICANN. Thank you for your time and business breakfast. Thank you very much for having me this morning, Frank, and have a wonderful day. You too. All right, we'll take a moment now. Uh, of course, after the break, uh, a public health practitioner will be joining us to look at this development and, of course, the uh, implication of these uh, on the healthcare system in Nigeria. We'll be back in a moment. Please stay with us.